Dr. Bronfeld, you said about periodizing a hypertrophy training program. Can you comment on that? Because so many people, you know, they see strength programs, of course, what they'll talk about undulating uh, periodization linear. You also recommend for hypertrophy training, can you explain quickly what periodization is and why you recommend it for building muscle? Periodization is basically the manipulation of training variables, and it could be any of anything from volume to intensity, rest intervals, tempo. You can pretty much periodize any uh, variable that you want. And the important thing is, is that you uh, you want to do it so that you keep progressing without plateauing and overtraining. And uh, there is no one best periodization model. Uh, there's too many different permutations for it ever to be properly investigated. We only have we only scratched the surface and even looking at this in a general context. Uh, but there's many ways to skin the cat. Uh, daily undulating periodization can work. You can periodize even within a given uh, session itself. Where you doing a moderate rep uh, protocol and then you follow it with a high rep or even have a low rep within the same protocol. Uh, I like a block periodization where it tends to work very well for if you're looking to maximize your results at a given period of time to peak for a given contest, let's say, as a physique competitor. So really the use of periodization should depend on the goals and the, the needs of the client and the, and the individual. Now. Dr. Bronfeld, big question here. Some people you're laying all this science down, all kinds of science, and some people want to walk away with little tidbits, some nuggets of information. I love so, nuggets. Well, nuggets are good, man. Chicken nuggets. What kind of nuggets? So they want to know, let's say, what are your top tips because you're the hypertrophy expert, what are the top tips for building muscle? I know that's a really general kind of like, uh -huh. but what are some, I guess, let's go over first the top tips and then we'll go over the biggest mistakes after. When you say for building muscle, I assume you want to talk about max maximizing muscle. Maximizing Building muscle, muscle is, there's many ways just to build muscle. Right. But to maximize muscle, again, it has to do with getting into that sweet spot for volume but not staying there too long. So what I like to do is to mitigate volume, to vary it over time. And I do that through frequency, increased frequency rather than increased density within the session. Right. Because intra-session, if you try to increase volume too much within a given session, generally you tend to reduce the effects towards what you're doing later on in the session. There's only so much time you can have within a session to have proper mental focus of and course. physical focus. You can't train hardcore for four hours. Correct. So I like to vary a program going, let's say, from three days a week to four days a week to five, six days a week yeah. over time and then having a peaking period where you're having this uh, super compensatory phase. And, and again, that can be structured in multiple different ways. So really, that's number one. Number two, training through a spectrum of repetition ranges, extremely important. Number three, varying your movement patterns, training through uh, different planes of movement, different training angles, even things like hand and foot spacing can can tie in different muscle fibers, but if you're really looking to optimize the symmetry of, of your muscles and not just uh, a lot of hypertrophy, but because they're not specializing with different, generally not planes specializing with different planes of movement, that their hypertrophy is focused within the muscles and they're gonna be lagging in certain aspects sure. of your clavicular head of your pecs. If we have to say, mistakes what are the when you look because you also did programming right for individuals for a long period of time when you took a look at let's say their own programming or what they're doing what were some of the biggest mistakes or what were the limiting factors that prevented them from maximizing their muscle building potential yeah I'd say what probably the biggest mistake I see is too much training to failure for too often the people just try to push balls to the wall without taking any but Rocky time did it dr. Brown yeah felt. Rocky did it and Rocky probably was overtrained as well <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's why that's the move um, so yeah, you, you can't keep pushing yourself like that. And one of the important things that I, I think is, is really essential to realize is that you need to have your recuperative periods. And I always recommend within a periodized program, and really this is one of the essential aspects that people don't get, is to have your unloading phases, a deload within a given time. And there's no one uh, time frame I can give you. Like usually every three weeks, having a, on every fourth week a deload can be a good starting point right. for people. But some people can go longer. It's your own progress. But really, too much uh, pushing too hard for too long yeah. is going to have negative effects. Any other uh, tips when you talk about mistakes that you want to talk about? Well, I, I mean, improper form is always a real biggie that I just see people yanking weights up, letting weights just slim yeah. down without focusing on the negative. Yeah. Uh, you always have the eccentric component is just as important, if not more so, than the concentric uh, component. If you don't actually lower the weight under control, now right. it doesn't have to be five seconds, but at least making sure the muscle is doing that work. If you're just right. letting the weight fly down, yeah. you're losing out on a lot of muscle building potential. Let's hop, there's so many topics to cover. Let's hop right into, you talk about 
you know, concentric, eccentric, and isometric. Can you explain, first of all, what those are and how they influence hypertrophy? Yeah, concentric is the lifting of a weight or shortening of a joint. Eccentric is the lowering of a weight. And um, uh, when I say shortening of a joint, you're going to... You're moving the weight up against gravity. Right. Uh, you're eccentric. You're going down against gravity, and you're isometric. You're, there's no change in the in the length of the uh, joint. And there are different. The interesting aspect is there's differential hypertrophic effects. It's been shown through research hypertrophy. So the signaling patterns are different, okay. and uh, w meaning that the way the muscles actually grow is through what's called intracellular signaling. Right. So it's a complex uh, array of um, molecular events that occur within a muscle to carry out protein synthesis. And uh, when you are doing an eccentric repetition, it's been shown that, that the signaling is different. And actually, there's some evidence that there's um, that the eccentric components can be more prone towards in series hypertrophy. Certainly, at least at the beginning of the uh, the beginning of the routine, where basically it's like adding links in a chain right. uh, to to the muscle. Whereas there's greater uh, in parallel development for uh, your concentric. And and there's some other factors. So certainly tying in all all of these factors and there's some studies have shown there's actually greater increases in whole muscle hypertrophy through eccentric actions. Now before everybody starts doing 10, cent, uh, 10 second eccentrics, advice when talking about eccentrics, you said of course you don't have to lower for 5 seconds but you have to control the weight as you're lowering it back down. Correct. Yeah, so basically if you just let a weight fall down, yeah. gravity is pulling you down. Yeah. Uh, gravity always goes down. Yeah. That's what some people seem to forget. So if you just let the weight fall down, your muscles aren't doing any work. Right. And ultimately you need to make sure that when you are lowering a weight that it's done in a controlled fashion so that the muscles actually are acting rather than gravity.